So let's begin by defining steel. Steel is a mixture of alloys made up mostly of iron. So one of the best ways that I know to explain to explain this is by using the analogy of, of cooking a pizza. So, you know, when you bake a pizza, you have the different ingredients. You have a sauce, you have cheese, uh, meat or veggies to achieve your desired outcome. So think of making steel in the same way. And instead of pizza ingredients, you know, let's use the periodic table of elements. And, and here, are the here are the four most commonly used elements uh, in the steel making process. First is carbon, you know, generally the most important element. It's the main hardening element and provides the overall strength of the steel. Uh, manganese also contributes to strength and hardness of the steel, but it also helps with the surface quality or, or surface condition. Uh, phosphorus improves machinability uh, and increases the resistance to corrosion, and sulfur's main function uh, is, uh, is machinability. Now, each of these ingredients, you know, combined with some others, can be adjusted to fit countless applications. You know, maybe you need a formable steel for a pipe or tube application, uh, or a high-strength steel for an automotive need. Automotive need. The point being is a carbon steel can be modified to fit the strongest of applications or can be made flexible to hit some pretty tight bend radius as well. As well. 